Coming up on a minute to go here in the fourth. Eric Tebow wanted a jump ball on that one. Zaya Cook just grabbed the ball at the same time as Troy Walker Kimbrough on that attempt to drive it. Canada checks the shot clock. Has it with six seconds. Four seconds. Cook attacking, turns it over. Hawkins running the floor. Collects and lays it in. And Kurt Miller wants a timeout as the Mystics take a four point lead. Seven seventy-three lead with 39 seconds to go in the fourth. Well, it's been all about the defense all night here in D.C. for the Washington Mystics. This play, no different. Square to the basketball was Brittany Sykes. Disruptive enough to have Canada cough the ball up. Cloud, the awareness, kicking the ball forward with a pass to Tiana Hawkins, who finishes nicely at the cup to put Washington up four. Mystics do not have a foul to give. LA, their next foul will put the Mystics in the bonus. And both teams with two timeouts remaining here in the fourth quarter. 39 seconds to play. And this fourth quarter has continued to live up to what we expected from both teams being riddled with injuries. The Mystics feeding off of this fantastic energy here at the Entertainment and Sports Arena here in Southeast D.C. These little babies getting an eyeful of what it takes to be a winner, not just basketball-wise, but the wherewithal with your focus and your character. It far supersedes athletics and X and O's. It's all about attitude. their last second instruction from Kurt Miller and his staff. Kurt Miller told us before the game, we coach more of the psychological side of the game than we do the X's and O's. Let's see what they come out of the huddle with here and see if they can execute. Claire did the inbound. Looking. Inside, Stevens. Back out, Clarendon. Drops it off to Stevens. Help came from Hawkins. Doesn't go, gets her own. Puts it up, doesn't go, but will go to the free throw line. As the Mystics get whistled for a foul, they call it on Hawkins. Let's take a look. Clarendon with the pitch pass over top to Stevens. Misses that one. Hawkins was in front, but she didn't have proper box out position, which is why they didn't call a loose ball foul or over the back call there. But Stevens is 6'6, so the taller they are, the more you have to dig into those thighs with your hips and move them back. Stevens splits the pair. Three point ball game. Mystics with possession. About a two second differential between shot clock and game clock. Eric Thibault is saying, use more of the clock. Take it down. Clarendon harassing Cloud, trying to cause a turnover. But they get a whistle and a foul called on Stevens to send Cloud to the free throw line. Eric Thibault told us prior to the game, he said, I know all about what Kurt Miller likes to do defensively, and it's to get the ball out of the hands of Sykes and Cloud by blitzing them, and we've seen that happen all night. Cloud knocks down the first. Ninety-one percent free throw shooter Natasha Cloud. Gets both, and Kurt Miller. Wants a timeout, 8.8 .8 seconds to play, and a five-point game. Big buckets right there from the free throw line by Natasha Cloud, and she wouldn't have it any other way. She wants those moments. Pressure is a privilege. 
And she understands her assignment as a leader for this team. I mean, there are five players in double figure scoring. Lee Mung off the bench with 10. Queen Egbo with a fantastic showing, seven of nine from the floor, 15. And Cloud knocking in those two free throws takes her to the double digit realm with 10. 32 points from the Mystics bench, 29 from the Sparks bench. Kurt Miller is frustrated with something. He had a long conversation with Tony Patillo during that timeout. I think he called the timeout to have the conversation, allowing his coaching staff to dictate what the Sparks will do here. Hamby got, to inbound. It's got to be a quick score. They're looking to... They were looking for Samuelson, couldn't get it in. Here's Canada. Agumake, Stevens puts it up. Nails the three, there's two seconds left. And a two-point game, Cloud will just dribble it out. And a two-point win, a gutsy performance after an 0-3 road trip from the Mystics. Yeah, you saw LA looking for that flare action to the weak side for Samuelson. Washington did a good job of reading that and taking that option away. But wow, what a big time three. Knocked in by Azare Stevens, who had a fantastic game for the Sparks here on the road, but Washington did their due diligence on the defensive end. They turned LA over 17 times, and that equated to 20 points, and I think that was one of the keys from the beginning of the game to turn LA over and try to get 20 points off of 20 turnovers, but they got 20 points off of 17. The final score, 79-77.